I'd been in Tipton County for 71 years. It's changed dramatically since we, uh, I come along. Uh, and it's a big change from then until now. I always felt like it was fairly small when I first arrived here um, to marry my husband. Uh, and, but since then, I, it's grown, especially the south end of the county has grown a lot. Moved here from Alaska. I don't know that the county has changed as much as I have changed in becoming more aware of the needs of the community. So I inquired with the Mid-South Food Bank about existing feeding ministries in Tipton County, and they immediately said there's no one in North Tipton County who is doing any type of feeding ministry. And if you all would like to do that, we'll let you become a member agency immediately. I heard about it from my wife's sister. She, uh, she was uh, getting food service and stuff, and, and she told me about it, and uh, I met the requirement of getting you no know, food for my family to help us out. I believe the Bible teaches us that we ought to give God the glory for everything that happened and everything that goes on. And I'm a firm believer in worship. Uh, being a pastor for 35 years, it's beautiful to engage in such a wonderful activity. I, I feel good about it. I do. Because the Lord told us to put Him first. And so in putting Him first, we be obedient to Him, we'll be blessed. It's a blessing to be here. I thought it would be great to be able to, it's an easy thing to do once a month and come and help the people that come. And I love the opportunity to treat them as guests and to really try to bless them. But I just remember, you know, knowing how it felt to go to the grocery store and only have $20 to, you know, spend and it had to last me two or three weeks, you know, as a single person. So I just like it because I can help people who might have been in a similar situation. For whatever reason, it was just one of those Saturdays where a whole bunch of volunteers had to cancel at the last minute, and we did not have people to help. And the clients actually asked if they could help. And they started holding doors and making sure people were organized and calling numbers and carrying food out for one another. So that was a real big picture for me of this is a community event. Four scout troops who participate on a regular basis, one homeschooler group who is here once a month, um, and we have the FFA chapter from Covington High School who comes um, two Thursdays a month to help us unload the truck when it comes in from the food bank. It uh, inspired me because the Bible teaches us that together we stand and divided we fall. And if we don't stand together, uh, we ain't gonna make it.